Is that a comparison that's worthy to show how humans, while we might consider ourselves lower down in the overall scheme of things, but we have this innate ability of so much more and we've still got so much more potential? Well, our potential is infinite. That's why we're only using 4%. Most of the alien races out there are using 80 to 90%, and some are even using 100%. And that's our equivalent of 10%. If we were to at least use 10%, we would have IQs in the 400s and 500s, just like the rest of the interstellar races. But that's just a 10%. Imagine we still have another 9%, 90% to go. So um, about the grays, those are programmed life forms. They are very robotic. Mm. Uh, the grays, along with the Zetas, who come from the star system of Zeta Reticula 1 and 2, um, have lost their uh, genetic, their procreating abilities they have lost their connection to god because they are an example of transhumanism you know uh it turns out that millions of years ago the zetas were actually humans just like we were just like we are i mean and they decided to take the transhumanist path and now they are a dying species and that explains their abductions why they're coming into our reality into our timeline in order to extract genetics to create some sort of a hybrid between us and them so that they could continue their dying race. But again, you know, we carry the greatest diversity of celestial genetics from across many universes. And so our genetics are actually a hot commodity right now to many aliens right now. And that explains this abduction phenomena by different types of ETs, because everybody wants a little bit of our genetics. <laughs> we have what they don't want, what they want. We have what they don't have is what I'm saying. Indeed. Now, just thinking about the idea of disclosure. Now, the Dave Grush testimony started with, of all things, when Chuck Schumer came out and said, we need to get to the bottom of it, anyone paying attention said, no, that's a red flag. This is part of this Project Bluebeam perhaps set up. It indicates that maybe we're getting to the end game that they're going to call the fake alien attack. That means the deep state knows they're gone and they're just laying the groundwork, which is truly extraordinary when you think of it, because that's exactly how it was mapped out in 2017 when we started listening to to people like David Wilcock and um, various others talking about the time when John Kerry arrived in Antarctica three days after Donald Trump won the White House. Um, we're scratching our heads thinking, what is he doing down there? Who is he going to see? Um, so there was, there was much in all of that that we realised that there's a much bigger picture here. But in order for this singularity, and this is a different singularity, this is the singularity when we realise that there's something bigger than all of us, that there is another species that's intelligent, at least at our level, if not more advanced. When is, does that happen by way of a US presidential disclosure? Or does it happen with something landing in the middle of a football field somewhere that's just absolutely undeniable? How do you see this actual event taking place, if in fact it does? Well, it depends on which parallel Earth you're in. Right now, they're all coexisting at the same time. There's different. There's an infinite amount of different versions, and we're constantly shifting from one degree to the next, where you're actually slightly different on each reality. Uh, on a positive, uh, you could say, spectrum of, of a timeline, we are going to be witnessing first contact, where massive amounts of uh, UFOs are, are going to be seen by millions of people worldwide. Uh, they're going to be witnessing you know, the appearance of motherships, scouting ships, and these are benevolent ETs, not Project Bluebeam. Um, however, on a negative timeline, for those that are not, you know, evolving spiritually, for those that are not doing spiritual work, um, they might experience Project Bluebeam. Of course, you know, that is the last card that even um, the Nazi scientist, um, what's his name, um, uh, Varn von Braun, talked yeah. about as, as a final... Uh, solution to bring about this one world government 